If you need a Wikipedia page, tune in, this video is for you. I'm gonna keep it short, I'm gonna teach you how to get one. I'm Jay, one of the co-founders of Otter Public Relations. We are one of the primary providers of Wikipedia pages and one of the three most trusted sources on the internet to get them. Let's talk about Wikipedia for a second. It is a collaborative in of information about highly searched for topics, people, places, businesses. If people are searching for you, you have a high search volume, you're a notable person, good chance you might qualify for a Wikipedia page. It's the only database authority of 100 website that I've seen and it is likely to be the number one ranking search, search link on Google for your, a specific search term. So for example, Jay Feldman, you search me. If I had a Wikipedia page, you'd see it there. Now the fact that I don't have a Wikipedia page, it goes to show just how competitive they are. You do need significant media coverage online about you or about your business in order to qualify. Not only that, you have to be actually notable. Wikipedia has a very active team of editors that regularly scrape through content, and if there's anything incorrect, if they see a new page that has not been substantiated or that should not exist by Wikipedia's terms, they will rip it down. It is an open source platform, so you can go on there and pretty much publish something, but because of how active their Wikipedia team is, it won't last more than a couple of days. So very important to know when you're looking to hire for Wikipedia or publish anything on Wikipedia. Those Wikipedia pages really need to be fully objective. They need to use sources from the internet, so articles, feature stories, including demographic information, things that are published on credible news, uh, news publications about you. That information gets pulled to Wikipedia so that it can be substantiated. If you're looking into getting a Wikipedia page, you need to make sure, one, you're notable. Two, you have significant online coverage. And three, once you're actually submitting that Wikipedia page, that it follows all of Wikipedia's terms. The best way to do this is by working with a Wikipedia editor. They know exactly what the Wikipedia content team is looking for, and they will formulate that Wikipedia page in such a way that when it is finally reviewed by the Wikipedia content team, it is approved, it makes it past that, past that six month timeline, and then it's safe forever. Again, once it makes it past six months, we consider a Wikipedia page safe and you're good. What do you do if you want a Wikipedia page and you think that you qualify? If you're on the cusp, you might need some more press. Work with a PR firm to get some more press. If you're already there and you qualify, you can work with a Wikipedia editor to take all of that information and formulate a Wikipedia page for submission. This usually takes about a month. It's free to do. Submitting is free. Working with a Wikipedia editor, usually costs a couple of thousand dollars. Now, if you're working with a Wikipedia editor or you're working with a PR firm such as Otter PR, make sure that you have a guarantee on hand. If they're unable to have a guarantee, the guarantee should cover six months. If not, make sure that you have some kind of refund policy in place. Because remember, when you publish on Wikipedia, it is not safe until it reaches the six month timeline. If you're interested in getting a Wikipedia page, contact us, we'll see if you qualify. That's the most important thing. If not, we'll see if we can get you to a point at which you do qualify. And then if you do qualify, we can work on actually getting a Wikipedia page live and insured for that six months. So if you're interested, go ahead and click the link, book a call with us. We'll see if you qualify. We'll get you to a point where you do. And let's get a Wikipedia page live for you. See you in the next video.